Okay, I found 10 black and yellow garden spiders. I found the first nine very quickly, but the 10th one, it took me about a half hour. I marked the spots with this long blade of grass inside this path. I want to show you guys something really cool because uh, this is extremely fascinating to me. All right, so I noticed most of them face this way. The dorsal abdomen is facing this way. Sun is up there. And it is 2.30. So I'm trying to make this quick because who doesn't like a quick video? So I'm gonna walk to all the ones that I found. Okay, this one. This one only has five legs. Surprised that she is still making it, but it is facing that way. And I've noticed that almost every single one of these spiders that I have found today are doing that. All right, so there's one, number two. All right, number two, found right here. Same thing. Okay, so number two, facing that way. All right, so number three and four, I've done together. Three and four. Over here. Number three. Number four. A little bit offset, but same thing. They're both facing that general direction. All right, number five. I gotta run to make time. Okay, number five is the outlier. Number five, I found it is actually facing the other way. It placed the ventral side of the abdomen toward the sun. It's aiming the tip of the abdomen toward the sun. And it placed the web between her and the sun. Okay, so number five is the outlier. Number six. Number six, kind of hard to see. Surprised I found it. I'm trying to find it in the camera now. There it is. All right. So, still doing a, a little bit of an angle, um, aiming the tip of its abdomen toward the sun. I also want you to notice the northern variation of this species usually only has two of those yellow dots in the middle of the the black part of the abdomen. I tried pointing at it, but it's too far away for me to really do that. Um, they are also generally a little bit smaller than the ones that I find down south. And the ones down south seem to have a little bit more yellow on them. Okay, so this one is number six. Number seven is right here. Okay, where are you, number seven? Oh, there it is. Number seven, right there. So, dorsal part of the abdomen facing the sun. See my shadow. All right, so that's seven. Number eight. Number eight's also hard to find, but aiming the tip of its abdomen toward the sun facing the dorsal side of its abdomen toward the sun. If I can find this one, where are you? 
Sometimes if you rock back in side to side, you can find it a little bit easier. There it is. This one looks like it just made an egg sack. You can tell the admin has a little bit of a shriveled appearance. Right. So, this one is number eight. Number nine. Oh, looking on the other side of the trail, facing that way. Right there. And number 10. All the way over here by the fallen oak tree. By the way, that's an Amaranius um, trifolium web right there. All right, and number 10. Oh, I don't see that. Oh, number 10 caught something. I've mentioned in other videos, these spiders seem to have adapted to know exactly how to wrap certain prey. Looks like this one caught a Japanese beetle, so. It wraps it really good, then bites it, then wraps it, then bites it. And the purpose of this video, same thing. Dorsal side of the abdomen, facing the sun. So now we, I've shown you that nine out of 10 of them all seem to be facing the same direction. Obviously there's some variety in microhabitat and vegetation, uh, how it can build a web to support the weight of the spider. And uh, with those variations in mind, they seem to all spin their webs uh, in the same direction with a purpose. Thank you for watching. Bye.